Back up on my bullshit, back up on the scene Done dealing with you, don't know how to deal with me Done fucking with you Good morning you guys It is Saturday, August 3rd I'm currently going to be vlogging a realistic day in my life. I decided to bring you guys with me on like a, what I do on like a real day. So right now it's uh, like 9.45. I'm making myself breakfast really quick before I leave. I just take a shower, face like routine, you know, did my hair, whatever. I'm not wearing any makeup. I typically don't wear any makeup like during the day unless I have to. So today I have a full day of clients, but before that I have to go drop off my car at Mercedes. Someone just booked an appointment. Oh my God. I have to go drop off my car at Mercedes because y'all know my windshield wipers were going crazy. So yeah, I have to do that. And I decided like, why not let my car get worked on while I, you know, take clients. So I'm gonna do that. Right now I'm making some protein waffles is what they look like. I usually eat two of these in the morning. Maya did get me. Or get, is giving me Starbucks. I'm gonna go drop off my car first. And then like Mercedes has like this thing. Where it's like they have Uber like through Mercedes. Like through the dealership themselves. So they'll just drop me off anywhere within a 15 mile radius. Of the dealership. So that's always like super clutch. And then I'll take my clients. And then whenever it, my car is ready I'll get it. I do have some bigger gaps today between my clients. All of my clients are not back to back. And sometimes I do tend to finish early. So then now just give me the opportunity to go get my car if it's ready. Just come with me on my day. And then I do have some plans for after work. I'm gonna definitely take y'all with me. Let's just go ahead and get the day started. I just woke up, so if I seem like a like not super enthusiastic, mind you, it's 9 a.m. I didn't go to sleep till damn near 5. I'm here, we're doing it. When it comes to responsibilities, I'm gonna get up. It doesn't matter how little I slept. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. It's so hot and bright outside. Why did why did I buy a car mount just for it not to fit on my car? I'm over here. I'm thinking I'm really doing something because, you know, I, I don't have somewhere to, like, put my phone up on here. I need to clear my screen. Just give me a second. This is all I got. And it doesn't even fit my car. I thought I was really outsmarting everybody. So they gave me a loaner. Usually they don't typically give me a loaner, especially like last minute stuff like this. The fact that my service advisor even offered me or got me a loaner on a Saturday is crazy. But I think it's because I, I have a good relationship with my service advisor. I honestly see him too much, if I'm being honest. But I'm not mad. I got a truck. And you know, you guys have been saying I've been wanting a truck. So it's like a little test drive um, truck see what kind of car it is i don't think the manual is even in here but i just got to the suite i need to hurry up and go inside so i can set up for my first client i'm actually very happy that i got the loaner because he said my car was not going to be ready today so yeah let's go ahead and get our day started we have a long day ahead of us so let's get to it you don't know Yes, I was gonna say that I feel like they fit it really good. I am on my own now. I am in control. I'm not gonna lie, I would I would never ever I need you to go now. I can fix my own crown. Back up on my bullshit, back up on Back on the 
She booked the $95 flash sale, so her remaining balance was $65, and then she gave me $70, and then my second client, her remaining balance was $80, and she gave me exactly $80. I have two more clients today. I have, this last one was a full set. It was $110, she paid her $30 deposit online. And so the next client I have is a refill, and I do charge $70 for refills. The one after that, is gonna be a full set and a like slight removal. So depending on how much she needs removed, the removals charge I charge forty. But I'm not gonna be using the gel on her today. I'm gonna be like picking them off like banana peel method. Depending on how much she has from her previous set, I don't do foreign fills typically, but. She's one of my clients. I'm gonna just see what I could do for her. When it comes to like clients from like word of mouth and stuff, it's a little different. Typically, I would have I would make the client do a soak off like with the lashes two days prior to their full set. But this client is paying extra for convenience. So when it's things like that, I do allow them to cut corners. But typically, I don't just because I don't like working over other lash sex work. Like I said, I need to see her lashes first because if her lashes are very damaged and sparse, I will not work over it. I do care about people's like actual lashes. So yeah, we're going to see how that goes. My 430 did ask to come at five, but it wasn't a problem because my other client that, that I got from Maya, Maya's not going to be done doing her until like 645, 7. So I was like, that's fine kill time yeah i'm probably just gonna like work on flyers for right now I'll probably eat my lunch and just chill just a little video disclaimer please don't come in the comments trying to be weird on how me and my friend interact uh, yes i do do her lashes and yes she's my client but at the end of the day this is my friend and we've hung each around each other for years so please don't look too deep into how we talk to each other or don't try and come up with a scenario in your head because it's not like that she loves her lashes i love servicing her so yeah just a little disclaimer because i know how you girls like to tussle mm -hmm. gg hates this part y'all i just put a bonder on her eyes and she's upset <laughs> why would you do that like why? <laughs> Be serious for once just, in your life. I'm sorry I didn't know you were but that right there. 
and then I opened my eye and you was just there. Chin down. Look at me. Look at me. It feels like really weird. Why? Like are staring at each other. We're not close. staring at each other, okay. dude. I'm just making sure your eyelashes look even. Okay. You can put the fan on. Okay. Close. Okay. Your lips are cute. It looks small, huh? Hmm? It looks small, huh? They what? They no, they small. don't look small. Look at me. They don't look small. She was asking me when am I going to be ready to come back and get them filled. And I'm like, mm, I don't know if I'm ever going to come back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put like one eyelash right there. Look, you're gonna Is see it going to be talking. worth it? <laughs> yes, look, like right there. You see? On the other side right there. One right here, like one in between. Oh, right there. I thought you were saying more right here. No, like just right here, so it could blend like this one does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Y'all, I just got home. Um, I had a fourth client, but I didn't even record it because I was so caught up in talking. But she paid me a hundred dollars because she got a foreign fill and um. I, I'm sorry, but I was already ready to go. Like, I'm really, like, zoned the fuck out right now. Um, I'm really trying to force myself to go out tonight just because I'm like, okay, like, you never do nothing for real. You need to just go out. So, I'm going to go upstairs and make myself something to eat and drink a Celsius. Get up and go have fun. Let me get myself together real quick and then we'll come back to the vlog. I to be vlogging. I completely forgot. I just wanted to come back and give y'all like an update of how yesterday went. I did all my calculations. So the first client I had, that was 95. And then the second client was 80. Well, in total it was 110. The first client tipped five, so that's really 100. And then the third client was a refill and she tipped 15. So 75 plus 15 is 95. And then the last client in total, she gave me 130 for her foreign fill. So in total, all that was a really good day. I just wanted to come on here and like let y'all know how the rest of the day went. I felt like yesterday was a very productive day, even though I was like really, really drained. I ended up going home, took a shower as soon as I got home, ate real quick, and then I just ended up going out with my friends because it was like girls night out or whatever. So in total yesterday, the full day, I made $435, which I feel like is really good for a Saturday. I genuinely feel like my Saturdays are like really booked and busy. I feel like that's my busiest day of the week, which I mean, it's understandable because people are going to want to get their services done on Saturday. A lot of people usually aren't off during the week. That was my day. I ended up getting home like around like 3.30, 4-ish. Got food, went to after hours. And I woke up today, today was my off day. I hope you guys enjoy this realistic 
blog day in the life of like what I really really do during the day like what a real real day is like for me I was actually really exhausted and I wasn't even gonna go out but I was like you know I rarely ever just really go out unless it's like a birthday so let me just take advantage of this and just go and just have fun with my friends I'm off tomorrow anyway and I definitely don't regret it at all so I see you guys next time. Please drop in the comments like what videos you guys want to see next or any ideas or anything that you guys um, request. I saw a couple people comment that they wanted try on haul and that's definitely in the works. Thank you guys for watching and I'm about to enjoy this hookah and relax on my Sunday.